Good day and welcome to the H3 MilSim scenario video. Um, my name is Dale Hitter and I am the uh, training officer for Advanced Gaming Systems. Um, I'm here today to demonstrate uh, just how quickly we can set up a scenario in H3 MilSim with a little bit of preparation. Uh, you should be able to develop something within 15 minutes. If you want something a little bit more detailed, with such as merchant shipping, stuff like that, it might take a little bit longer. But right now I'm just going to give you the bare bones. So first thing we have to do is make the map. And you would make your map, edit, new scenario, put the date in, today is the 24th of June, 2011. And you would start at, say, 8 o'clock Zulu time, that's 3 a.m. Eastern, with a duration of 7 days. And your dimensions. We'll do one with the Chesapeake Bay area, so that's 40 degrees north to 34 degrees north, and 73 degrees east to 78 degrees. I'm sorry, 73 degrees west to 78 degrees west. Select your projection here, add your weather here, click OK, and there you go. Now, and it's very basic, you have three sides, A side, B side, and maybe a neutral side if you so wish. In this particular case, we're not going to do that, we're just going to do a very detailed, we're just going to do a very brief, I'm sorry, not detailed, a very brief scenario outline. So you would go to edit, sides, add side, and let's say side blue, add another side, say orange. Right, select blue first, hit OK. Zoom into your map here like so. And you would select, say, uh, oh, I don't know, let's, uh, let's, uh, add, say, uh, oh, let's say add a Perry class frigate. Swoop down. Let's see. 36 on the wood. And there's your first ship. And the first ship is always your flagship. And then we'll add another unit, say the tanker that we're escorting. Ship. Scroll down to merchant ship. Oh, let's see. They get some large boats in there sometimes. So there's your VLCC. The brown line indicates your data link. We can turn that off because it just clutters up the display in my opinion. But whatever you want to do. And uh, that's side B done. Now that's all the units. We have to place them and stuff like that. So let's go over to side orange. And we'll add say a couple of bog hammers. Now it doesn't really matter here. What we use. Uh, let's see, we've got. Uh, uh, I don't know. 50 cal. One here. Control A, one here. Insert another one, let's say an IED unit. File camera IED. File camera IED. Now, that's side B done. So now, as you can tell by here, orange is neutral to blue. And when you switch sides over here, blue is neutral to orange. Well, we can't have that. So, we'll make orange hostile to blue. Select the postures. Hostile, OK. Select OK. And now, as you can see, it's hostile to blue is hostile to orange. Now it doesn't work the other way around. All right, Orange will attack blue if it sees it, but blue won't attack orange because to them, from this viewpoint, orange is neutral. So then you would group your units together, maneuver them, say to the mouth of the river there, select blue orange, and group these two units. Like so. Now it's a little bit 
I could go into more detail here, but we want to keep this short. But this is your very basic scenario. The user would the user would guide Blue or on whatever side he saw fit into accomplishing his mission. In this particular case, Blue wants to go out to sea. Orange wants to attack Blue. So at this point, you would save your scenario. Let's say NL3 is good. Right. And that's your very basic bare bones scenario creation design. This took about this took a couple of minutes at the most. Now you'll want to run it in single player mode depending on what you do, but and this doesn't go into account you have to set up missions as well. So and mission behavior is beyond the scope of this video. But to give you an example, I will just go into detail about how we made this scenario. This is a more detailed scenario here. This is the same scenario with more sides. As you can see, and I've added a few things for effect. And here's blue, and you can see here, for those of you familiar with the Chesapeake Bay charts, these are the rough approximations of the traffic zones, the traffic lanes into and out of Norfolk and up into Baltimore and areas like that. And these are all the ships you see here. Orange, of course. And we have merchant ships and simulated AIS. Bottom line is that this took about two hours to make. Um, this was right off the cuff, right off the fly. Uh, two hours to do missions, add units, and test. Uh, and that's about as good as you're going to get. Uh, if you want quick and dirty, a couple of minutes. But if you want a full up simulation uh, to test all the variables, two hours is a good time. Uh, this ends the uh, this ends the tutorial for this one. If you have any questions, please contact Advanced Gaming Systems. I'm Dale Hillier, an AGSI training officer, and you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you later.